yeah that fury wilder on the card is looking all right you know i know i said i ain't copping that but <sighs> if what we're hearing is right and exact yeah i'm copping a pay-per-view i'm copping a pay-per-view they say they got a jagba fa a jagba going up against frank sanchez the cuban heavyweight i know i know they got more we got the nordic nightmare robert helanius he's going up against adam kavnak <gasps> I just butchered that name. That name got slaughtered. Okay, let's let's try again. We got the Nordic Nightmare Robert Hellenius going up against AK Babyface Adam Kovnaski. Was that better? Yeah, I think I did better there. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. With with those two fights added to the undercard, it's looking a lot more enticing for me. News coming by way of Keith Idek and Mike Coppinger on Twitter. Anyways, th th these are very good fights for me. These are very good fights, especially the Sanchez and Jagba fight. They'll both be taking a. They've been due step ups, in my opinion. They're, well, they're primed for step ups. I'm holding, holding out for my prediction. I'm not gonna give my my picks just yet for the a Jagba Sanchez fight. But I spoke about the Elanius and Babyface fight several times on this channel, and I'm sure I've picked my winner a few times. So. If you want to find out who I'm picking for that fight, do some digging. But for now, I'm holding it until, say, maybe fight week. I'll do a, a, a proper breakdown and a prediction. While we're on the subject, how old is Frank Sanchez? Huh? Anyways, this should be a good card. This should be a good card. Are you guys paying for it? Are you guys paying for it? Well, what's the plan? What's the plan here? And uh, how excited are you? Who are you picking? What's up? The rumors that the... Uh, the fight that the Fury Wilder fight is actually going to get announced tonight. Hmm. Interesting. So keep an eye out for that. Keep an eye out for an official announcement. Some people are speculating that it's not going to take place in that July 24th as initially announced. So let's see. Is it going to be July or is it going to be further down the line in August? A pair of joke men, but that's neither here nor there. Press conference Tuesday. So let's see. First time um, since the, the near-death experience Deontay went through, just the first time we're going to see Fury and Wilder on screen together. So quite a few things to look out for. Malik and Wilder, are they going to keep that same energy? Is Wilder going to cower in the presence of the Gypsy King? <laughs> What's going to happen here? It should be an interesting press conference. Neither men are short of material, let's put it that way. <laughs> There's stuff to talk about, you know? Wilder can go on about his his poison, his his gloves, his um, his juju. Look, they couldn't even knock me out even under that juju. I was under some juice. They couldn't even knock me out. They couldn't even keep me down. Like I said, it took a disloyal trainer to throw the towel in. All of that crap and yeah, Fury King rebuttal. It should be a good, nice little back and forth. Yo, my trainer saved you. The the most cynical of boxing fans, or even not even the most cynical. A lot of boxing fans still think this whole thing is just completely staged down to the fight. I don't think the fight is necessarily staged, but the winner could be, it could be. I don't know what they're up to, who knows. Time will tell, or maybe not. In other news, we got, we got AJ Usyk taking place in, in a disgusting stadium somewhere in North London. Some, some hole in North London. The Tottenham Spurs Stadium or whatever, whatever they call that crap. That's where the fight's gonna take place in. As you can probably tell, for those who don't know, Guna, I'm a Guna, so yeah. Forget that, it's neither here nor there. The fight takes place in the Spurs Stadium. AJ takes on his WBO mandatory in, well, quote unquote, pound for pound fighter, Alexander Usyk. Former cruiserweight king, undisputed cruiserweight champion, moves up to heavyweight, becomes mandatory challenger for Joshua for about two years now. He's had two fights at, up at heavyweight. It's not looked great. The fight's set to take place in September at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, which holds which seats 62,000 people. That's definitely gonna be a full house. Also, where are the people that were saying AJ was gonna run away from Usi? <laughs> Run away from music. Give me a break. I'm expecting a beatdown actually. I'm expecting a beatdown. There's several contenders in the division that I can see giving AJ more trouble than than what I expect Usyk to. I don't I don't see Usyk posing that much of a threat, but you know, stranger things have happened. Let's let's see the fight. Let's get the fight on. 
in this crap crap of a, of a stadium. Andy Ruiz took to Twitter asking fans who he should fight next. Well, my answer is Luis Ortiz. Not not simply not not because he's the best candidate. Just you know, it's quote unquote a more uh, difficult fight than the the Ariola fight, and it's they're both stable mates. It's an easy fight to make, and they've they've talked about the fight before. Why not? Why not? But you know, I won't be surprised if he takes another easy fight like like the Ariola fight was supposed to be but we so we also had that turned out knocked down punched all over the ring that's what you get mate that's what you get there's better fights out there like the Dylan fight Dylan's been calling this guy out forever Ruiz just doesn't want to know the PBC they're probably not going to want to know either that fight's probably not it's out of the question hey just find music and um, Wilder and Fury are engaged so that would be the next best thing you know that's the next best fight of the the top top five top whatever however you want to have it. Dylan and Ruiz are there about so if Wilder and Fury are fighting, AJ's fight music. That's that's the third best fight possible, no? They want to have Ruiz fighting on pay per view as well, so they need good opponents. They need proper competition. The Ariola gamble, well, they did the Mexican angle, so that that was their little banker with the Mexican little angle. But this time they're gonna need a proper name if they want to sell. We saw him get punched on, dropped, and he lost a little bit of his, his shine he accumulated from the AJ fight in that ring against Ariola. So now they're gonna need a proper opponent, proper competition to stick on pay per view, you know? So who who else? Who, who better than Dylan? Who better than Dylan? It's crazy as a boxing fan I have to settle and say Oh I want to see him fight Ortiz I don't want to see him fight no Ortiz I don't even want to see Ortiz fight anymore Well I'd like him to fight some young some young boys like Hergovic or something Let one of them put him away That's what I want to see Fight one of these young boys so let, 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 Let's just put him out the game for good But Ruiz I want, I want proper fights man I don't want no Ruiz Ortiz I want Ruiz Dylan Proper stuff But the way boxing is set up I have to do the Oh nah this one is with this stable He's with that stable So they can't fight Oh Ortiz is the same stable mate, Stable mates with Ruiz So it makes No I want to see the best fighting the best <laughs> Don't get it twisted The irony isn't lost to me I do realise PBC and Top Rank Are collaborating for this heavyweight card with Fury Wilder at Jagba Sanchez, but it does not happen enough and we know um, how this came about. <laughs> Wilder was cherry picking and top rank, they, they, didn't have, they, they didn't have any choice, they had to take a risk with Fury, so that's how it came about. Anyways, thoughts in the comment section as usual, subscribe if you're new around here, give me that like too, notification bell have that on so you know exactly what's going on up here, Twitter, question marks UK, I'm out.